kill it. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another table talk. Table talk. Table talk about interracial dating. <laughs> interracial relationships in general. Yeah, in yeah. general. But the dating phase is specific the dating phase. The most wonderful time when you get to know each other. <laughs> When yeah. life is easy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> life is easy. Before you have the kids, and before things get busy. <laughs> nah, but for real, guys, welcome back. We are really excited to be here and um, yeah, to talk about a little bit about what we've been through, what others have been through. Yeah, how dating is or so, was yeah. for us. I mean, this year makes it makes it um, six years that we've been married. In September, it'll be six years. I always say seven years. I don't know why. <laughs> Next year, it'll be seven years. It feels years. like seven. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we met in 2016 in... Kona, Hawaii. How? How do you pronounce it? Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> no, Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> so, yeah, we met there. And uh, hopefully, we get to return there someday hopefully next year visit hawaii soon. again soon yes. um but Keep yeah us in our prayers your prayers i mean <laughs> at ours but your prayers so we can go there soon i'm ready to go it'll be nice to have like a seventh year anniversary yeah. in hawaii that'll be nice yeah we uh we started we are very it would be very nice to do that actually because i miss the sun i miss the beach I miss the ocean. I miss the easy life there, the island life. If you guys are on an island, live on an island, or have ever been to an island, you guys know how it is to live on an island. I mean, if it's a warm island, because some islands that are still quite Yeah, but it's still... Cold. Yeah, but it's the easiness of that. Like, everybody knows everybody a little bit. It's like, it's another type of living than when you from the mainland or you know europe for example it's just you live you live differently there. yeah i mean things are also a bit more expensive because um things have to be shipped yeah there. That's so the cost of things is not very far but it's just nice like the the air the nature like just the, the environment is quite friendly and um mm. soothing but yeah we met there and you know when a story begins with Hawaii, it's very romantic. Everybody's like, wow, <laughs> yeah. you guys met in Hawaii. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> For us, it's like it's normal until, until people are like, oh, wow. It would be very normal. I would say it's like, I'm like, I don't even think about it that much. I'm like, yeah, it's normal. Like, is that normal for you guys? <laughs> no, we just Because like a lot of there. Germans, like it's their dream. Yeah. to go to Hawaii for like a holiday or something and we met there mm. and I actually also worked with I mean I, I worked there with an NGO mm. and um, so we met there and that was where the interracial dating started in Hawaii <laughs> and that's where I, I also noticed uh, like the differences in how we are because of how we were raised mm -hmm. because of where we are from mm. and I know the, the, the things that we liked so what was the first thing that was different that we had to get used to in our interracial dating. You mean except from saying that you look thick or you look <laughs> thick? <laughs> Did I say that? Ah uh, yes. I will never I will never forget. <laughs> Did I say thick? I will never forget I I that day. <laughs> when he called me I look I don't know if it was thick or not chubby. I know you didn't say chubby, but no. it was another word for thick. And I was like, wait, what? What did he just say? And as a European, you know, we all want to be thin and, you know, have a good shape and all that. And back then, I was actually, man, I was doing sports every single day. I was running. Um, yeah, I was doing a lot of sports. Actually, I wanted to go to Hawaii to do dances, like a dance 
going to dance school. Um, so then I was like, we're doing a lot of sports. And yeah, I had like, I would say thicker thighs and, you know, calls. That's from my dancing, from my early dancing, what I did when I was younger. Um, but yeah, man. Because like in the African or in the Nigerian culture, mostly if someone is, you know. Thick. I wouldn't say thick because I know I didn't say fat for sure because I learned my I learned my, I learned my lesson not to use fat in in the West because, oof, <laughs> like in Nigeria you say oh you're fat you're getting fat in other words you're you're eating well you yeah. you know you're, you, you look, look good you look good you look good like you don't want to be called skinny Mm-mm. where I come from you know it means that you're suffering or starving so for for like for the West whether it's for Americans or for Europeans to say they look fat. <laughs> It's uh... on ice. You on ice. You are on ice. You so... hope that the ice will not break. Yeah. No. So please, if, you, if you've not traveled before and you're traveling for the first time, do not use that word. <laughs> Even if they obviously are, you know, they they occupy more space. <laughs> Obese. <laughs> they just occupy. I mean, they matter. They 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 have weight and occupy space. So do, yeah, don't say that. Um, that's, like, that's like a very strong cultural clash and secondly i noticed that she loved water Oof. oh yeah i love being on the beach i was like hey let's go out let's go on the beach you know let's get something grab something to eat and then sit and watch the waves and go on the beach and now that i'm saying it i'm like laughing about it because i'm like no i know my husband <laughs> and i'm like wait did i really say that my poor husband <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because he's so not that type of person. It was actually one day we were dating, like we won't go on a date, and I was telling his friend, his ex roommate, like, yeah, we, you know, we go and we plan to go to the beach, I spend a little bit the afternoon there, and he was like, wait, what? You taking Ebenezer to the beach? Sand water with you? I'm like, yeah. And all those years that he's been in Hawaii, he has never come with me to the beach. And I was like, really? That day made me realize that he really loved me. He really, really, really loved me. Oh, yeah. The things you do for love. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, like, she was new on, new on the island. And so I would take her also around to show her places. I and... used him, yeah. <laughs> I used him. And one of the, and one of the places that we went to was, uh, I mean, one of them, like a couple of them, were like beaches because it's Hawaii. Where else would you go? Like they all like there are beaches around the whole place, and so I would take her there. Um, yeah, I mean, she would go way deeper. Man, she's a fish. She would, my goodness, she would jump from a cliff into the ocean. Oh yeah, too. That's yeah. the south point, the southest point of the states. Of the United States, that's where I jumped from the cliff. Yeah, she would jump from the cliff into the water, oh, like so this nice. huge water, like I was very, the first one. very clean water, pure, like it's nice. You could and she look would jump into in. it and see the bottom, like, oh, yeah. like, oh, it's so nice. And I was looking at the ocean from the top, just observing the water and waiting for her. I'm like, I'm hoping everything is fine because if not, <laughs> I'll be the one to call 911. <laughs> I mean, there's no need for both of us to die at the same time. Like, one person has to be able to call the emergency in case something goes wrong. So she would jump into the water. And you know, Nigerians in water. I mean, there are some Nigerians that can swim very good. Yeah. But it's, some. Yeah. But it's not very common. We used to go to the river to swim when we were little. But our parents stopped us. In my case, my grandparents. Because they felt the water was dangerous. And it was, to an extent. It wasn't taken care of, like, some water. Like, some, yeah, some water waters here or like rivers or lakes here so we lost that sense of swimming and so like water and nigerians or africans or blacks in general it doesn't work it doesn't really work that much of course there are exceptions you know but in my case i would go to the beach only because and i think i'm 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 also very extreme european i don't know if everybody's that i'm swedish also so I'm partly Swedish and in Sweden, summer is all about water, being outside, water, being outside. Like you just, your whole summer, you at the lake, you bring your food, you bring your school works with you. You do your homework on the beach. You 
like on the lake constantly. As soon as it's warm, everybody goes to the lake. And that's how I grew up. My summer days were just about water, basically. So I was just being out, like, you know, outside all the day. Oh, all the day. All day, every day. So I wanted to say I'm sorry. My English is really messed up today. <laughs> I yeah, talk too much, Jeremy. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I think that is, that's also another extreme. So. Oh, yeah. And I also had an experience that made me not want to go too deep into yeah. the ocean. So the ocean is not your mate. If you cannot swim. <laughs> I mean, and sometimes it is easier to swim in the ocean than it is to swim in the pool because of the salt. The saltiness of the ocean so you're able to float more on the ocean mm. than in the pool but still you need some swimming skills mm. and there was a time that i went to you know help like disabled people swim there was like a there was like a, a like, i don't know if it was like an ngo or like a ministry that would help disabled people experience the lake <laughs> and i volunteered i don't know who said the lake me. or the ocean the ocean actually not the lake the ocean i mean in hawaii they're mostly ocean yeah that's yeah. not like it's yeah. the ocean. so the beach i was close i wasn't at, at the beach so i don't know why i volunteered something <laughs> you cannot swim that much you're going to help the disabled you want to drown and drown the disabled person <laughs> so... i can imagine i already i'm already having a movie inside of my head and how that must have been oh, and yeah. looked like Just in, I mean, they said that we're not going to go very deep. We're going to go to the shallow areas where you can stand. And my husband that didn't, <laughs> doesn't know how to swim, he's like, oh, I yeah, mean, I can. I can do it. As long as the water is not over my head. He, see, here's <laughs> the deal. He can swim underneath water. He swims underneath water, but not above. <laughs> this is like, this is, it does not make sense. I have, n- I can't explain this. I don't know. Scientifically. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. I mean, I'm too heavy to be on top. You just go on. No. <laughs> this is... Uh, it's just weird. It's just so very weird. But, yeah. Yeah, but I went to help because I thought I was I was just going to be in the shallow area. So, worse come to, comes to worse, I'm still standing and my head is over water. But then I got there. So, normally, you, you're paired. Uh, you're not the only one taking the disabled person out. You have to pair with somebody else. So, the person that I paired with... A lady, she could swim, like, of course. Like, she was a very good swimmer. And I was on one side and she was on the other side. And we're carrying this disabled person in the water. And then this idiot. He was like, let's go further in. Let's go further. Let's go further. And he's like, yes, of course. Let's go. Let's go to the deeper part. I can't swim. Have you seen a disabled person that has options? (laughs) This guy was enjoying the water. And he was like, can we go deeper? Can we go? In my mind, I'm like, deeper to where? <laughs> <laughs> and the important thing was also seeing how you was you were reacting, wasn't she? She was like... No, she point. didn't see it because she thought I could swim. <laughs> I mean, I was very confident. You know, you know Nigerians, we're very cool. <laughs> <laughs> they can do everything. Everything that they, they want. So uh, it's like, but I was very confident, you know? Like, I'm like, ah, it's not water. <laughs> so... We're going in. <laughs> it was like, let's go deeper. I'm like, okay. My head is still over, is still, is still over water. Let's just go a bit deeper. We're going in until the water got to my neck. The water got to my neck. And I heard something in my spirit. <laughs> Goodness. Ah, I heard something in my spirit says, and I saw you take die. <laughs> so I was like, I can't come to Hawaii to die here. <laughs> so we're, we're going. You haven't met me yet. So <laughs> I was I was there, and you know this lady that like the other lady on the other side, she could swim. She was already floating. She was, her legs was not on the water. She was already just chilling. floating and chilling and holding this disabled person. I was still standing. <laughs> Float to where I was still standing in deep water, <laughs> probably on his toes. <laughs> and this, this, this idiot kid was like, "Oh, well, let's go even deeper." <laughs> so I was like, "I don't think that's a very good idea." <laughs> <laughs> So 
hilarious. Oh my god. For me, not at that point in time. <laughs> and for the little lady, she didn't know. So, in my mind, I was playing the movie in my head how my obituary would be. <laughs> I could see my funeral. I was like, he just died. We can't swim. I know that she was like, so daddy, yeah, 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 that. Who sent him to water? Oh my goodness. We wanted to talk about dating. We ended up talking about something else. <laughs> so oh, the guy said let's go inside my mind i'm like i can't die like this so <laughs> she took him deeper and my head was in the water <laughs> so i was like it's either i leave this guy here now or we both to die <laughs> so guys i left him and i went on the water and I just swam to shore immediately because I knew if I continued, that would be the end. So I left him. I was like, excuse me. I left him. I went underwater and I, you know, I came to the shore. But this lady was, of course, at that point in time, this guy, this disabled guy was floating. So the other lady was still able to hold him mm -hmm. while she was swimming. But yeah, I escaped. I went under and I came to shore. Did and she was, notice? I don't think she noticed. Okay. I just left. I see if I had to do something. I just left and uh, that was it. I didn't come back to that. <clears throat> so the moral of the story, guys. Learn how to swim. <laughs> yes. If you go to an island like Hawaii, you should probably know how to swim. <laughs> yeah. But that that was a different thing for us in dating. Definitely. Yeah. I love the, the ocean. She loves the water. I loved it. But we mostly had like our date nights at at the water and yeah i think something that we always that that always made sense for us was when we were annoyed at each other to just go to mcdonald's and get some food back then i mean we didn't have a lot of money so that was our only option probably would have just what's that day food? chicken nuggets <laughs> and ice cream yeah that was like and the world was different mm -hmm. after we ate and you know, our stomach was full, we were happier, and suddenly a problem that was a problem before was not a problem anymore. So that's another tip. If you guys are dating, date in a restaurant first and have your stomach full. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else was the difference in our culture? I think we'll have to save it for the next video. <clears throat> I think we don't have that much diff. I mean, there's a few differences even now that he doesn't like to hold hands or you know be. Um, show affection to which, each other in public. I don't know if I don't like it, but I'm not used to it. Like to show up affection publicly, like kiss, hold hands, hug, those those things in public, because it's very mm. common here. Yeah. I I don't know if it's a personal thing or if it's, or if it's a cultural thing. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's also a difference. And for me, it was like, hey, why are you not holding my hand? Or hey, why are you I mean, not... I would hold your hands, but like, you know, like kiss, like, kiss or like be romantic in the public. I was like, hmm, it feels weird. <laughs> but yeah. But it makes me feel like, okay, I am... Like, he makes a statement, you know, in public. He, I'm, I'm, I'm his woman, you know. That's, mm -hmm. that's something that, yeah, that was weird, a clash in uh yeah but also communication wise i think we were different in communicating yeah we had to learn a lot of things about us i don't know if i would say it's cultural or not cultural but as individuals as well because you were more of an introvert i was more of an extrovert i was like talking and talking and i could oh my back then i couldn't even i didn't know when the stop was you know of talking and stop to talk and you start listening so like things that i had to learn and yeah i think some parts were cultural um like in the part of um how we would communicate like yeah. non-verbally yeah oh that's true i didn't grow up learning how to communicate non-verbally 
even up to now, I would say I'm I'm learning a lot. I'm trying to do that with my chil- with my with our children, and to teach our sons to understand by how my facial expression is, um, and how how I feel about certain things. Um, so they learn and they grow up in a in a culture or in a home where nonverbal communication is also of matter. Um, but I did not grow up like that. We grew up mostly just talking verbal about talking yeah. about everything and you know discussing about everything, even up to now, like everything has to be discussed, everything has to be talked about um and yeah, that's something that I did not learn, and he sometimes would just look at me and out of his way of looking at me, I had to figure out what he was thinking, you know, I mean, now we've been married for a little while and now I understand some things when he looks at me or he points at some certain, certain things or he makes a gesture. gesture. I understand what he's, or I try to understand what he's saying, but... Because, I mean, as an African, you grow up reading a lot of body languages because if you don't, then you get another body language that you don't want. <laughs> so, like, for me, I grew up, you know, observing my mom or my dad. Their, their facial expression will tell you your whole life history. Mm. And you had to get the clue to avoid it being taken further. So, that was one part, you know. Mm. But we're going to talk about more parts in the next video. Yeah. Because both of our kids are beginning to... Wake up. Scream. The life of parents. But... As you can hear. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for our children <laughs> for being quiet up to now and <laughs> listening. <laughs> Whenever you will watch this video in your future. <laughs> in thank your you future. <laughs> for being quiet. <laughs> no, but yeah, for real guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing, following us, um, sharing our videos to your friends and families and yeah, being part of this family, this yeah. big big family of ours. But yeah, we're going to have a part two of this video where we'll talk about more differences and similarities in, in, the, in our cultures as we date or mm-hmm. in the interracial relationship. Yeah. But yeah, until then, subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. Yeah. And if you have questions, comment down below. All right, we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.